Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video here, I'll be reviewing this TIG welder from Tuliome. It's their TL200TP, and a link to this will be included in the video description. This is a high frequency dual voltage TIG welder, so it's able to run off 110 volts and 220 volts, and it does come with the adapter you'll see in a moment. It's able to do both TIG and stick welding. However, this is a DC machine, so it's not able to TIG weld aluminum. Everything is all neatly packed in the box, and it comes as a surprisingly small package. This doesn't come with any tungsten, so I did have to go out and buy my own. Once out of the box, we can see this is an extremely small machine. Actually about half the size in compared to my 110 volt flux core machine. All the connections are up front for your TIG torch and ground clamp, and you do have the optional foot pedal. We have a large digital display, which I'll show you in a moment. At the rear is the power cord, gas connection, on-off switch, and a cooling fan. This also has a 220 cable and it also comes with a 110 volt adapter. Here are the torch accessories. We have three different cup sizes, collet body, TIG torch low profile back cap, larger profile back cap, and collets. Sizes of the collets include 1 16th of an inch, 3 32 of an inch, and 1 8th of an inch. Next we have the argon line. This hooks up to your regulator or flow meter on the argon tank directly to the machine. Here's your arc welding torch. There is 10 feet cable. With stick welding, the machine can switch between DC positive and DC negative, depending on what you're working with. This involves switching the position of the wires at the front of the machine. Here's the ground clamp. This too is 10 feet in length, and both sides of the ground clamp is grounded. Next is the 220 volt to 110 volt adapter. And finally is the TIG torch. It's a number 17 torch, which is fairly common style, and parts can be easily found for it. It's a rigid head and air cooled with a switch on the torch. The cable has a full length of 13 feet and is very flexible. The switch surrounding it does come off, and this could possibly be for maintenance. For the assembly of a TIG torch, install a collet over the sharpened tungsten. As mentioned earlier, this doesn't come with any tungsten so I had to buy my own. It's hard to see on camera, but the collet size will be stamped on the top flange. Install the collet body and screw it into place on the handle. Install that long back cap. Screw on the ceramic gas cup. Finally adjust the tungsten by loosening the cap and pulling it in and out as needed and then tighten the cap back up. Remove the rubber protective cap on the welding machine and screw on the gas line for the torch. Plug in the switch controller. If you have a foot pedal, then plug that into this connector instead. The last step is connecting the ground clamp. This will be on the positive side. Thread in the gas line to the rear of the machine. Flipping the switch on the back side, the machine does start up instantly. The fan also starts up and isn't overly loud. The screen is extremely easy to read and the buttons on the sides are used to navigate through all the functions. For the welding modes, we have three different functions. This includes stick, regular TIG, and pulse TIG. Now for the modes of TIG, there is 2T, 4T, and spot welding. On the bottom left you can see the welder automatically senses when it's in 110 volts, so there's no need to adjust any options for this. The left and right arrows allow you to scroll through the different functions such as the up and down slope times, start amperage, max amperage, etc. All these values are adjusted by rotating the knob on the top right. A test with and without filler rod. I must say the welder is very smooth to operate and also very quiet, despite the fan running in the background. The fan isn't overly loud, so there's no need for any hearing protection. As mentioned earlier, this is a DC TIG, so it's unable to weld aluminum. An AC option would be required for aluminum. The DC TIG welder is used to weld mild steel, stainless steel, nickel alloys, copper, and titanium. The dimensions of the welder is 11 inches high, 6.5 inches wide, and 14.9 inches deep, so it's extremely portable, and it only weighs 11.11 .11 pounds, making it easy to carry anywhere. 
As mentioned earlier, this is a dual voltage machine, 110 volt with an input current of 34.8 amps and 220 volt with an input current of 20 amps. The minimum output is 15 amps and the maximum output is 200 amps with a 60% duty cycle. I will definitely be featuring this welder in other projects so everyone can see how it does in the future. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.